So we're here uh, in up my showroom uh, at Silver Star Satellite, as you can see, and we're taking a look at the new Hopper 3. So it comes with the new 52.0 remote, and the Hopper 3 looks similar, has a red line down the bottom, Hopper 3 with sling, and still has the remote locator which is nice on this and this box now has to be hooked up with Joey 2's. Um, it has a different user interface. It has 16 tuners. It still has Netflix. It uh, will also at some point I'm told have YouTube and a sports bar mode. Um, it's also 4K compatible so it'll do 4K programming and uh, there's the so if we take a look at this remote it has uh, some different features the satellite buttons are on the side um, satellite TV auxiliary and input button um, so I I've grabbed it and hit one of those before it's easy to, to do that and of course just hit satellite to get back on it this turns the box on and off and this little TV button turns the TV on and off and it illuminates a, a light there when you're on the telling you what buttons pushed. So there's a home screen button that'll take you to a home screen and it'll tell you what's trending live and your recordings and, and some menu options. Um, in here on demand and Netflix and Weather Channel and uh, settings. Um, it tells you what's on demand and what's up next and on later. It uh, will also let you go to the top here and go to just shows or just sports, which is kind of cool. So this will only bring up sports and this will only bring up movies. And then the menu button is right here. So the menu uh, tells you what's trending now, which is uh, similar to the Hopper 2, uh, what the but the one that everybody else is watching. Um, something I don't use, but you might uh, prime time anytime. It still has that option to enable or disable if you want to record all of the locals in HD from 8 to 11 every night. It'll keep them in a folder and keep them for eight days, but you can save those recordings to your hard drive so they don't go out away. And then it has an on-demand. So when this box is hooked to the internet, um, either through Wi-Fi or directly, you can do on-demand, uh, the trending live, and Netflix, and any of the online apps. <clears throat> And then here's the DVR button. Also on here is the DVR button, apps, and the guide. So let's start with just cruising through channels. So we're going to hit the guide. I can, of course, hit two, and it now brings up a block in the middle. <clears throat> and it has some 4K uh, video on demand content here. But if we go up, using the arrows, there's our local channels. We can go to the right and we can see at 8 o'clock, see I have prime time enabled. Um, and then we can go up or we can use the channel up and down button to go a sheet at a time. So 26812, we go all the way to 99 there and you got the music. So there's a plus on there. If I hit it, it's a collapsible menu. So if I hit select while I'm on it. So as you can see, it's going to go through. Um, it's a collapsible menu and, and there's the CD music as well. So you can find any kind of music that you're looking for. And then going up through here, here's a channel that is the Hopper 3. It's 103. It's a Hopper Insider, which uh, is demonstrations on how this box works, similar to what I do. Um, so, skimping up through here, you got food and home and garden and 
about 140 to start with uh, sports so you can see all the channels there's the sports and then you got some others and cartoons about 170 and about 200 you got some more channels like net geo and animal planet discovery and then about 200 you got all the news channels then you have a few more channels and then you get to the 300s where you'll find all the movies <clears throat> HBO Star Showtime Cinemax and the Dish Movie Pack which is right here so Epix, Epix 1, 2, 3 and these all in that package um, you have Fox Sports 2 Outdoor Channel and Sportsman up on the top end of our guide and world fishing network uh, there's tennis and golf in here and there's also Root or the regional sports with Root and Pac-12 Network at 406. Again, there's some collapsible menus because there's multiple channels. So if you hit up that, there's alternates there. So if we hit 2, we're going to go all the way back down to uh, channel 2. And if we go to the right and we hit select, this is how you record. So it says record this or record series. So I'm going to record that and then it just sets it up. If you hit it again now, it asks you if you want to skip the event, delete the series timer or edit the timer. So if I edit the timer, it's going to say right now it's set to do only new. I can change that to once or only or new and reruns and it's going to record to the DVR of course, which is still a two terabyte hard drive. Um, it's going to start a minute early and three minutes late, and you can change that, and um, it's going to keep all events. So you can change that to 1 or 20 or 5 or whatever. So on here, the back button takes you back one space out of here. And that recording is set up to record. And I'm going to delete the series timer because I don't want to watch it. Um, and then if I am on TV, if I'm on live TV, um, I can use, here's our skip forward, pause, play, and fast forward buttons, these three. So pause, pauses on the right hand corner. It, tells us how many seconds we are away from live TV. I can hit play again. I can skip back 10 seconds. I can hit it multiple times and it'll increment up. I can fast forward and it'll put us right back at live TV. If I hit it, uh, hold it down, it will rewind. I don't have enough time. And if I hold it the forward down, it'll fast forward. So uh, play takes us back to play or pause and that's how you use uh, the DVR and skip through commercials. Here's a recall button and on this box it's going to hit recall and it's going to go through uh, lots of uh, past. It's going to give you not only the last show you're on but some of the others. So the volume will run the volume on the box and um, you can program that also to take care of a surround sound. So if I hit auxiliary and on, it'll turn my surround sound on. I hit satellite and it's switching to auxiliary speakers and when I do the volume now it's doing the volume on the surround sound so I can hit mute if I want to right there and if I want to if I want to go to the DVR I just hit the DVR button and here are all of my recordings um, 14 percent full I just hooked this up the other day as you can see and here are the recordings and here is the primetime folder and any on-demand content that I've downloaded 
goes into that folder right there, the dish rentals. There's also the tabs up here similar to like a website. And in the trash folder you can delete something and go back in and grab it a couple days later, up to two days later I believe, and uh, reinstall it back into your hard drive. So um, here's all the, the recordings and like this one and this one and uh, all of those were recorded on prime time because I can tell they got the little kangaroo. So if we go into the prime time folder, here's all the shows from uh, the local channels in HD from 8 to 11 uh, every night and if I selected one of those it says watch, save, or save series. So save series means I'm going to uh, save it to my hard drive so it doesn't go away in eight days. And it'll tell you if auto hop is available, that little red kangaroo I spoke of. So if I save that and then I go to here, here's that shark tank I put into the actual hard drive so that it won't go away in eight days. The oldest things on your hard drive go away. Uh, they fall off the back end. So we're 14% full. It's a two terabyte hard drive. That's 500 hours of HD. I figure if I haven't watched something in 500 hours, I'm probably never going to. And if I were to replay that Shark Tank episode, I'm going to hit watch. And then it's going to ask me if I want to auto hop through commercials. So this auto hop is a feature that Dish has had for quite a while and a few days or a day after something's recorded through prime time, it'll ask you, it'll give you the option of auto hopping, which means that I don't have to touch the remote. It'll just automatically skip commercials for me. So uh, that'll start the play. So if I hit the apps button right here, it's going to bring up all of the apps, most of which uh, utilize uh, the internet. And here is the Sports Hub weather. Here's how to set up the Dish Anywhere app, which I'll cover in a minute. You can access Facebook or social media, and then it has some music things, like I think that one is in Pandora. And here is some um, soccer, and then sports. Um, not that soccer is not a sport, I guess, but um, so Game Finder is the thing I like here and keep track of the basketball college top 25. Obviously, these things change as seasons do. And if I hit the Game Finder, it's going to, you know, I'm still going to watch and listen to what I'm currently viewing, but it's going to bring up all of the games and I can hit that. Uh, select on my sports and I can just find the kind of sport that I want um, and then I can cruise down through here and look at what sports are going to be on and um, then I can So like this, whatever that was, I can also set a recording there. And if these sports have already started, it'll tell you the scores. So um, you can also hit the right arrow right here, and it'll go to tomorrow, the next day, and so on. And that is a nice app if you're looking for a game. You know, Oregon and California want to watch that, and there it's recording. I don't have to go all through the guide, um, and then it, it uh, tells me it's on ESPN, which is channel 143, and I can set a recording from there. So if I hit back a couple times, it'll take me out of there. And if I wanted to do a similar thing, here's a search button right there. So search, I'm going to just go... Spell whatever I'm looking for, and it's going to bring up results in different categories across all uh, genres. So TV, 
uh, the movies or sports, you know, it's going to bring up everything with a duck in it. So, um, hey, that's what I wanted in basketball, soccer, volleyball, or football. Um, so if I'm looking for sports in Oregon Ducks, um, that would ha be a good indication of how powerful that search tool is for you. Um, and then, again, in the guide, you can see that you have a few standard defs. I've uh, disabled uh, the duplicates, I believe, yeah. So these don't say standard def, otherwise it would have a 8 HD and an 8 standard def. HD now doesn't say HD because, uh, you know, it indicates standard def on ones that aren't HD. Because everything is, almost everything's HD now. So, <clears throat> everything I watch anyway. So that's a lot of how this box works. Now let's, let's look at on demand. So if we go to um, the home screen and I go down here and here's on demand, that's one way to find it. I don't want to see that info again. I don't know even what it says, but you can read it every time if you want. So brings on demand up and it has free movies and movies for rent. So it's going to, and it comes up pretty quickly, this box has the fastest processor of any set-top box and it's utilizing the internet now. So the free movies you have access to with no charge and these are <clears throat> pay-per-view events. So there is a charge and there'll be a dollar sign and tell you how much. And then you have free TV shows and 4K movies and shows. And a lot of the 4K movies and shows are on-demand, uh, pay-for events. You have kids' programmings and browse by channel. So I can pick a channel, like say HBO, and it'll bring up HBO and I want to look for a series and then it'll bring up all the HBO series and you can look through, because I have HBO on our package here, I have access to this. <clears throat> and you can see it has all of the HBO series, even all the older ones, you know, like, like Dead. Deadwood here has three seasons back in like 05 or something. So if I hit season one, Here's all of the 12 months of season one. And if I wanted to uh, go to one and watch on demand, I'm just hitting select. I'm gonna hit watch later. Now if I go to my DVR in my rentals folder here, here's that Deadwood. So right now it's streaming at 17 meg on my CenturyLink internet and I can watch it whenever I want. So I can watch it now as it's streaming or watch it later. Um, it doesn't matter. So that's what on demand is and uh, the feature of on demand. So if your box is hooked to the internet and then you have a smartphone or a tablet or a iPad um, there's some other things you can do with this built-in sling in this box. So if uh, you hit apps, it'll tell you how to do this. But I also have a video on how to do it of us actually, me actually doing it with a customer. So if you go to this app and hit the Dish Anywhere app, which is free in the marketplace, It'll walk you through this and you can hit next. So it's telling you here that you go to mydish.com and with your account number or phone number and your four digit pin, um, it will let you set up a, an account. That's good for checking out your bill and making sure because you're probably on auto pay, you can always see what you're getting billed for and view that online. 
but that username and ad and, and password that you create there is what gets you into this app. And the first time you open this app, it'll ask you for that. So I just opened it, and if I hit guide, here as you can see, I have a guide. And if I wanted to watch something, I just hit select and watch, and watch on my iPhone. And it'll sync up here, it's starting my office hopper, as it's saying. And once it's synced up over the internet, it's going to give me a live feed of TV on my phone. So if I have internet on my phone wherever I'm at, and internet hooked to my box, I have all the same features on this app as I do when I'm, here's DVR, when I'm sitting in front of my TV. So here's all my recordings and I can search things, I can pause, I can fast forward and it's all predicated on internet speed and it uses data so keep that in mind. If you have a data plan and have don't have unlimited data you want to get on a Wi-Fi uh, probably unless it's really important to watch it. The other thing that you can do is uh, you can transfer content from this hard drive onto an iPad and then it's on the hard drive of the iPad. So if you're on going like on a trip with a plane flight, you're able to um, watch those movies or whatever you have transferred onto your iPad without having internet. So that's a great feature. Um, that's about all that I got on this, except for the 4K, and I can fire up. Uh, they also so with this system you have a 4K. Joey that you can get and the Hoppers 4K. So right now there's no 4K content so beyond that little video on demand that we looked at but I have also a Joey hooked up in uh, my office so let me move you around here and look at the other TV so this guy's 4K, and here's the 4K Joey, just a little thin fella, and it utilizes the 40.0 remote, which I like, um, and it has all the same features. So Hopper is a whole home system, so every room in the house uses a tuner off of the Hopper. The new Hopper is 16 tuners, so there's no uh, threat of multi-viewing on watching four different channels on one or two TVs, you're still only use, utilizing half of your tuners. But as you can see, it has all the same features. And if you go to the guide and hit the guide again, it brings you up to this where it has guide settings, guide appearance. Um, you can switch from all subscribe channels to all unsubscribe channels to all channels or set up a favorites list. Cancel takes me back one space, but this box and every box in the house has all the same features that we just watched there, except that if you have a Hopper 2 or a Joey 2 or a wireless Joey, it doesn't have 4K. So this and that box both have 4K and usually people don't have all 4K TVs and there's no content, so no reason to. But I can go into this rentals and I've uh, downloaded a couple that are 4K. This one that I did on demand and I can resume or start over. That's what it does when you've recorded something and it'll bring it up and you can see that the 4K functionality of this hopper system. So the old Hopper 2 had three tuners. You can add a Super Joey to that and add two more tuners. That would make it five. The uh, DirecTV Gen uh, Genie has five tuners. I think there might be one of the cable systems that's uh, up to seven tuners. I heard rumor, I don't know. Uh, the cable system here in the Northwest is primarily Comcast and they have four tuners. So this 16 tuners on the new Hopper 3 is, you know, just blows the 
the competition away. And now with 4K, and as programmers get 4K content, then it's going to be important to have that if you have a 4K TV. Because as you can see, it's pretty crystal clear. So I'll go over a couple other things here. So if you go through that, that's how to get on the dish anywhere. And I'll hit uh, back and get out of there. So we're back to regular TV. 